Yo. Okay. On today's episode of Overrated or Not, I'm talking about Don't Stop Believing by Journey. So, um, I am a huge classic rock fan. It's what I grew up on. Well, not grew up, but like, you know, when I was 13, I was always listening to the local 101 The Fox music station here in Missouri, uh, Kansas City, rather. And, um, I'm, you know, I just, I, I love that stuff. I love, you know, Pink Floyd is my favorite band. If you know my Facebook, it's Jacob Pink Floyd Butler. I love, you know, the Beatles. I love Led Zeppelin. I love The Doors. I love all that stuff. The Who is fucking awesome. Um, but I never liked this song. I never liked it. Um, and I, I, I just listened to it again to make sure, you know, like to make sure. But, um, I think Journey's actually a great band. I think they did a lot of good songs. Um, you know, except for this one and Faithfully. Faithfully is not a very good track, but, you know, uh, any way you want it, it's great. Um, uh, Holden, Touchin', whatever, the kind of bluesy one. I kind of like that song. Um, they're all, you know, they're always a little bit sappy, but this song is just next level. This is a shitty pop song in rock disguise. Um, it's just, it's, you know, I'm not saying, I'm trying to sound really douchey. I just, in my opinion... You know, it's not objectively bad, but in my opinion, the song is just, it's not good. Um, I mean, admittedly, there's a, you know, great, there's that great guitar part at the beginning where after the annoying piano ballad shit is going on, you know, you hear that guitar, it's like, and that's kind of cool. Uh, but, you know, and Joe Perry does have a, or I think that's his name. Joe Perry, whatever. He has a great voice. He does. But in this song, you know, I can often let go of really bad lyrics, too. But for some reason, the lyrics in this song are just so fakey to me. This song just feels fake. That's my problem. It feels phony. Um, I don't, I don't like the piano. I don't like the vocals, necessarily. You know, I like Joe Perry is a vocalist, but this song, I don't really care for his singing. Um, I, I just, I think everything about this song is overplayed and overrated. You just hear it all the time. And every time I hear it, I'm like, okay, um, where's my noose? Or, you know, like, ah, you know, I mean, it's, it's, I'm sorry. I just don't like this song. Um, um, like I said, I like Journey, but I don't like the song. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I need to cover on this one. Uh, went over vocals, went over lyrics that I did not like. And the guitar, like I said, it, you know, it's kind of cool. You know, that's cool, but didn't care for that. Um, just overall unremarkable. I don't. Okay. Anyway, I just thought, you know, I can't always say, you know, this song is not overrated. You know, I had to pick out one that I always thought was overrated because, you know, I, I like to be nice, you know, generally. Um, I like to think, you know, okay, that song is great that song deserves its praise, you know, but this one I just don't think does deserve its praise at all. Um, especially from Journey, because they've done some awesome songs, they have, uh, that have stood the test of time. But this one, for me, has not. And that's fine if you disagree. Uh, so, in the comment section, if you guys are watching this, which I've only gotten like 10 views total on my other two videos, that's fine. If you guys are watching this, let me know if there's a song you want me to review, whether it be overrated or not. 
Um, and uh, if you agree or disagree with me on this song and what your thoughts are, maybe the sentimentality of it, I can understand if you love this song because you heard it when you were five and your parents, you know, had it playing in the kitchen or something, and you're like, oh, yeah, this is a sweet song. But um, being a 13-year-old and just hearing this on the radio, I was always like, oh, my God, I got to change it to something else or turn it off. So um, have a great day. Don't stop believing. <laughs>